We have pointed out earlier that the relative contributions of free and forced convections in the total rate of convective heat transfer is determined by the ratio of the Grashof number and the square of the Reynolds number. Now let us delve deeper in how we can determine which between these two mechanisms is more, determ is more dominant for a particular case. If this ratio is less than 0.1, then we can say that the force convection dominates. On the other hand, if this ratio is greater than 10, then we can say that free convection dominates. Finally, if this ratio falls between 0.1 and 10, then we say that the relative contributions of both free and forced convection must be considered in the computation of the total rate of convective heat transfer. Now there are three cases under which we can classify mixed convection. When the direction of fluid motion due to the external flowing mechanism is the same as the direction of the fluid flow due to buoyancy, then we call this type of mixed convection as assisted flow. On the other hand, when, when these two directions are opposite to each other, then we call this type of mixed convection as opposing flow. Finally, when the direction of fluid motion due to the application of an external forcing mechanism is perpendicular to the direction of fluid flow due to the buoyant force, then we call this type of mixed convection as transverse flow. Computing for the total rate of convection when mixed convection occurs requires the computation of the combined nacelle number. It can be computed using this formula. We use addition when we have either assisted or transverse flow, while we use subtraction when opposing flow occurs. On the other hand, the value of n depends on the surface geometry. n is equal to 3 when the surfaces are oriented vertically, while it is equal to 7 halves when the surfaces are oriented are ori uh,